In A Tofu Tale, you're a simple woodsman who has been transformed by a kitsune, a mischievous fox spirit, into... a block of tofu? That's right, you're now a squishy cube of processed soy, and you're trapped in a magical spirit world. To get out and get your original body back, you need to solve a series of increasingly complex puzzles put in your way by a whole cast of colorful kitsune, each with their own personalities. But all of this silly story and setting is really secondary to the actual gameplay. You move around a grid with tiles of different types. The tiles fall away from underneath you after you've used them. You can only move on the tiles which match your current color, or flavor, and you change co flavor by moving onto floating orbs. Along the way, you try to pick up Magatama, soul gems of power, and reach the flag that marks the end of the level. As you progress through the game, more mechanics are added to make the puzzles trickier, like the Tengu, who blow you back several tiles. After playing through the first couple of game worlds, I have found the puzzles to be difficult enough to remain interesting, but not so difficult that I got frustrated and gave up. The puzzles often contain red herrings that frequently threw me off. Sometimes I would forget that my goal was to reach the flag, not necessarily to pick up all the flavor orbs in the map. I will note that while playing with a gamepad, I found the controls really unintuitive until I checked the Move Relative to Gamepad Direction option in the settings. By default, the controls are oriented to the grid, so pushing up on the joystick actually moves your cube to the top right, and so on. Turning on this setting makes it so you push upright to move upright. It means you're always using the diagonals on the joystick, but I found it a lot more intuitive and comfortable to play this way. I also appreciate that the game has an option to disable screen flash effects, as well as standard audio and video options. Overall, A Tofu Tale gets a thumbs up from me. If you enjoy this style of puzzle, I think you'll find this game engaging, interesting, and at least moderately challenging, and the art style is colorful, cheerful, and uplifting. But of course, if a tofu tale isn't your cup of tea, don't worry. I'll be back soon with another indie game, and you never know, that one might just turn out to be your new favorite game. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Tofu!